What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take the 1979 Chevrolet Blazer out. Finally, we uh, done a little bit of work on it. We're going to be running it on 3S. Uh, I think it's 100C discharge and 1500 milliamps. Uh, we still got a solder on an adapter. We're going to order some battery straps. I ordered some. They're right there, but they're too long. But if you do order battery straps and you're going to run them in a basher, order they make them now where they're rubberized where they stretch a little bit order the rubberized ones that way it will not taco your battery when you have chassis flex from jumping if that's something you do but uh y'all have seen what i've done in this truck so far we basically got some brass up front we got the brass c hubs the inner and outer portal boxes we got uh overdrive traxxas overdrive in the front we also got some, let's see, it finally come in. I didn't know this coming from China. Some uh, shock links that's gonna go on it. And we're gonna run it today with the stock tires on the backyard crawling course. Probably gonna change these tires out. I got I got an idea. We definitely don't want those vented tires. But I got an idea and uh, we're gonna probably put some high racks on it. <clears throat> with some crawler innovation foams. I'm not sure which ones yet. I gotta wipe the truck. But I hope y'all enjoy this video. Nice, that done good, that done good. A lot better than I expected it to be. Especially with those stock tires. Oh, my diff ain't locked. That might help. Lock your diff, kids. Lock your diffs. Awesome, it done good. It's doing way better than I thought it could do, especially climbing them stairs with the rear diff unlocked. They've changed the compound on this canyon trail pattern. The Traxxas has actually changed the compound. But uh, the truck is still real top heavy. I don't know if they changed the compound or what, but they seem to be performing a whole lot better than the, the older canyon trail for some reason. That's a good thing, they just listen. All electronics is stock, still stock. That ain't bad, we flipped it over a couple times already. Still not too bad. Let's see if it apply me stairs here. Rained yesterday, so I don't know. Oh yeah, look at that! Awesome turning radius too. Let's see if we'll 
probably not in the right angle. I probably want to get back a little bit. <clears throat> now let's go up the stairs again and try to get a better better angle that way we can come down the straight stairs and just see what we got here this is a big body truck it takes a, a lot of finesse to drive it done nothing to the suspension it's still set up stock way oh it's doing great it's doing great this is real hard on trucks right here because anytime your, your front tires and your rear tires hit an object at the same time real hard especially with this stock tire see it's hitting hitting this at the back here and then it's hitting this little piece of log up here at the same time and it's kind of hard what you have to do is actually turn into that log a little bit and give it a little bit of gas it did come over finally crossing the janky bridge We can make this turn here without flipping it over. I think I'm caught up in between them boards. There she comes right there. Still came out of it. Still came out of it. Let's put it up on these uh, rocks right here. Here you go again. The same, same instant. And I learned this from watching Light Bright today. When you, when you get both of your tires in a V like this, it's really hard to come out of because it, it really stresses the truck. But we're gonna try it anyway. By the way, Light Bright is a one-to-one uh, -one RC channel, not a one-to-one -one four wheel drive channel. I'm sure, probably everybody's seen it. Oh, no problem at all. That was awesome. Let's see if we're going to get it off there without killing it. There we go. We're going to drop it right there. We'll run that tire out. Ooh. Yeah, we need a stronger servo. I'm not getting too much. I've got it turned all the way right. It's not one to go. There you go. Use that rock slider a little bit. Oh. Yes, sir. Pretty awesome. Now we'll try this. Let's get in a bit of a better angle. Go ahead and try this. I don't expect it to climb this. Trying to. No, that rock slider's got it hung up, don't it? Yeah, it's not. It's not coming out of that. I don't think. Yeah. Rock slider, it's on the drive shaft. No, it ain't coming out of it. But as you can see, 
All I did was add a little brass, a little overdrive. And it's gonna turn out to be a pretty good truck. I put them shock links on there. I do some uh, shock adjustments, like uh, put them at different angles, you know, like angle, whichever ones I can angle. I'm not sure. I know I can angle the rear ones. Uh, tilt the shocks towards the front of the truck. And then extra holes that Traxxas provides. That will help keep all four tires on the ground at one time and give it a whole lot more flex. I don't know if there's a whole lot I can do with the front. I'm gonna see. I do know there's some uh, upgrades I can order. But I'm really happy with it. So that's it for another backyard RC crawling session. Remember till next time. I love you, but God loves you more.